Hello and welcome to the 28th video of the Project Sovereign series. In this video, I'll get a big chunk of the armor plating finished for the secondary hull. There's lots of extruding fun ahead, so let's get started. Now I'm ready to start extruding the armor plating on the secondary hull, so I'm just going to start from stem to stern, as they say. So I've managed to refine this technique a little bit. I've drawn my line, just created a very simple, simple shape with Bezier curves. I've drawn my line, and what I used to do was I would extrude it and then do a Boolean to the 3D shape, but I realized that there's a way to save a step. So when I rotate this, you'll see on the plans that there are these cutout areas here, and I wanted to corroborate that with reference, and as you can see, sure enough, there are parts right here. I've been growing very skeptical of these plans, so I've more and more I'm relying on the reference material. I always have, but now I'm a lot more vigilant. So all I need to do is draw a rectangle and I believe I'm going to make these 0.5 meters. I think that's going to be a good, a good width for these. And again, a nice, easy to remember number, which I always appreciate. So just bring it out here and I'm going to select everything and hide it. And I'm going to put this in place with a plan, but again, I'm going to check the reference because I'm not entirely convinced this is where they belong, but I know it's the general idea. Okay. Yeah, that's clearly wrong. Just slide these up. And actually, I think I'm going to move these two over. It's difficult to tell from this reference because it's so foreshortened, but pretty safe to say that these are closer together than what the plan indicates. Go even further. I think that's going to be fine. So I'm just going to trash the extrusion on this. We don't need it. I can always just add it later. So now with the shape, what I'm going to do is in the spline area, compound shapes, and this shape boolean is what I want to do. And I want to subtract, and I want to add operands, which will be these blanks that I drew. One, two, three. There we go. Now just extrude it. Make sure it's got the definition. Yeah, that'll be fine. Nothing too crazy. Put it into place. Make sure nothing's sticking out here. Right, I don't want any imprints going through. I think that's gonna be just fine. And finally, just throw out the symmetry. We don't need it. And of course, ye old imprint. And there we go. You can see it worked perfectly. So now I'm going to do is just convert this back into an edible poly. Polygon, ignore back facing. I'm going to select all of these. And when I get back, you'll see the armor plating fully extruded. Now that I've selected all of my polygons, it's time to extrude. So I will just extrude. And I like the fact that it came out to this crazy value because now I get to run my test to see if I've indeed missed any polygons. I don't know if you remember from the previous videos, but I will just look around the edges just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. And it looks like I have not. Oh, maybe I have. No, that's just the way it is. All right, cool. And of course, who remembers the value that we used? That's right. Just let me double check if this is going to be thick enough for this particular armor plating. This actually looks to be thicker. 
maybe one four, double the thickness. Yeah. Yep, I think that's looking good. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a mental note of that. The armor plating for this part of the ship is going to be twice the thickness that I used on the saucer, but that's quite all right. Just want to look like the model. Let's see it in the render engine. Yep, that looks good to me. So I will just continue with this armor plating all the way down the hull and on the back too in this area. I'll probably show some stuff that I'm doing in this area too because I've got a plan that's going to help making the texturing easier. So I've got no time to waste. I should just get to work. I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing all the blanks that I had to make in order to create the edges for the hull plating in the secondary hull. Now it's not quite as complicated as it looks because I had to actually cut the hull in half, as I mentioned in a video that I made a while ago, because my computer simply can't handle doing a pro-boolean operation to such a complicated mesh, which, as I mentioned before, is probably a sign from the universe telling me that I need to upgrade my computer. But we have to work with what we have, so I am going to cut all of these shapes into the hull to create the edges. I know I previously showed cutting out this edge using the 2D shapes, but I wanted to extrude these shapes because I want to see how they intersect the hull. It's very difficult to see how this is going to work without seeing how the shape is going to actually intersect into the hull. It's a very difficult operation to undo, so I want to make sure that everything is right before performing this operation. So by the time you see me again, all of these armor plates will be extruded. Phew! Okay, so I finished cutting out and extruding the panels from the blanks that you saw previously in the video. So I've gotten a pretty good chunk of the secondary hull finish paneling wise. I created the divot that is going to house the phaser strip. I'll build the actual phaser strip very soon, but it won't be in this video. I also applied my gray material to the bottom panels here just to get a better look at how it's going to look. So there's still a lot of work to do on the secondary hull, lots more paneling, lots more detailing, and of course the windows, but I'm very happy with the results that I've gotten here. You're probably noticing this seam. That's because, as I mentioned earlier, that these are two separate pieces. So this will be trivial. Just welding all these parts together won't be difficult at all. But I'm pretty far away from merging these two. That'll mean that I'm done modeling this section of the ship and it'll be ready to apply textures. So still quite a ways away from that point, but happy to get this out from the to-do list, ready to move on to another part of the model. So still plenty of work. I want to thank you for sticking with me this long. I know it's been quite a slog, but the results are going to be worth it. I'm really getting excited about the way that this ship is going to look once it is finished. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon.